This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe And keep on looking I tried a pilot of this show, Will Gitsum's Detective and Variety Show, and uh, I failed to capture my first uh, dastardly duo, Walden, and the one and only Carmela Santiago. Da, da, da. And during that time of kind of being in the pits, feeling a little bad about myself for not accomplishing a goal, I uh, tried a little uh, side gig. But roller security. Actually, I have some photos here of some of my uh, best moments. Uh, this one right here, uh, come up here, uh, camera lady. This one here, me at the Preakness. I, I quickly learned uh, it's a little rocky and dirt uh, all over that track, and it's a little hard on the wheels. So I had to move on to my next gig. Right over here, I was uh, thinking to myself, you know what? The boys of summer. Maybe that's where I need to be. So here I go, I got myself all set up. Here's the deal. They're a lot larger than you'd think and on wheels it's hard to catch them when they're jumping around like a bunch of crazy nut jobs. I said, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to some place where they know how to keep it safe. You know, got a lot of pads and stuff like that. How high can you jump when you got a helmet and pads on? Well, let me tell you, pretty high. Got a little dangerous over there too. I got flattened like a pancake on that one. So you know what? I'm gonna go a different direction. And mind you, this is over 20 years. I said, uh, I'm gonna go over there with them, uh, them ladies playing uh, 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 tennis over there in Wimbledon. Actually, it was kind of fun, but there was a lot of peer pressure. This lady over here gave me a real hard time. It was really, it was actually a lot of, a lot of uh, I think it was just a lot of jealousy on her part. So, ultimately, just recently, I had a great chance. This is one of my favorite photos. Had a great chance to uh, help out the Tour de France. I was like, hey, wheels, wheels. Well, come to find out, uh, these guys aren't really good at turning if you kind of roll right out there in front of them and uh, cause a little bit of an issue there. So, anyway, luckily, as that career was failing, my original career that failed got a rejuvenation. Come, come to find out, there's a local channel, BBSR Channel 20, who uh, gave me a chance here. So, uh, so pretty excited about that. Here's the deal though, the way this thing works is you got to have uh, people who sponsor you and care about what you're doing and I'd like to right now hand it over to the one and only, you know her, I kind of know her, Miss Wendy to help promote a little bit of what we're caring about here this week at VBS. Hello everyone, I'm here to tell you exactly what the most exciting thing I'm ready for this week for VBS. We are partnering with a group called Leveling the Playing Field. And they're an awesome group who is collecting gently used or new sports equipment for kids who don't have access or the money to be able to get to those supplies. 
I'm so excited. I actually was talking to the woman the other day and she said, you know what? Because of the quarantine, we weren't able to really collect anything. So our warehouse is not full. It's kind of empty. So I'm ex we have almost 190 families participating. Can you imagine if we all work together to gather supplies to fill up their warehouse? That's so exciting. You can use just like this, an old Amazon delivery box. You could use that to put your flyer on. You can use a plastic tub that as it doesn't have anything. Look, this already has some sports equipment in it. Or if you wanna take the time to put a colorful box together and put it outside in your, off your driveway, your sidewalk, wherever it is, and start putting the word out to everyone. You can reach out to Facebook groups. You can reach out maybe to email some teens. Maybe they have some other families in your community, in your church. Wherever there are people that you know in your family that have supplies that could give away, start collecting those things, okay? So I'm excited about this partnership and I can't wait to see what we collect. All right, back to you, Will, get some. Boy, that chicken fit a lot of words in a 90 seconds. That was pretty impressive. Here's the deal. Uh, we're not just a detective show, we're also a variety show. So I wanna teach you guys a little uh, table magic today and each day I'll teach you a little uh, something else uh, Mickey and interesting. As best I can, not all you can be interesting. Here's the deal. All you need is a regular deck of cards. Go to Dollar Store or wherever you get yourself a deck of cards. And I'm going to show you how to do a trick that will blow your parents' minds. At Thanksgiving, you do it to Grandpa, who will literally spit out his teeth. I'm telling you, I've seen it done before. All right? This is what I want you to do. Ready? I'm going to go right like this. A little razzle-dazzle. All right, get close to the screen. Not too close. I don't, don't go blind. All right, looky here. I want you to now pick out a card in the deck. Each one of you in the room can pick out a different card. Does it, it really won't matter. All right, you got it in your head. Razzle-dazzle, abracadabra. I predict this was not the card you picked. And ta-da, congratulations. You just witnessed a magic trick that will make you the head of every party you're invited to, assuming you get invited to parties. Here's something else that's kind of fun. My dad used to play this game with us kids all the time. He'd say, hey kids, you're making a lot of noise over there. I got a game for you, go get the deck of cards. I'd run over with the deck of cards. Mind you, literally 30 times he's done this. I fall for it every time. I hand him the cards. He goes, hey kids, we're going to play a little game called 50 card pickup. And just like that, he'd throw them all over the room and we'd have to run around to get them. I'd be like, Dad, don't you mean 52 card pickup? He goes, no kid, we're not dealing with a full deck here. Hey! Anyway, fun game, play it with your parents, children, all kind of things. Here's the deal. We, uh, this morning I shared with you that Carmela and Walden dropped me a clue, both written and pictorial. Let's put the picture up on the screen. They send me this, <laughs> this little beauty of a photo and then this clue. I shouldn't roll these things, it makes it hard to work with. Want to find me? You can try. You'll just have to find Bullseye. Well, here, here's the thing, boys and girls. I gave you that clue this morning. Showed you the pictorial clue. And sure enough, I said, please help me out. Send in some of uh, your answers. And boy, did you send in your answers. Some of them were doozies, and I deleted them quickly because uh, you obviously weren't listening to what I was saying. But some of them were awesome, and I think you guys might have solved it. Right here on the screen, the answer, I think, that you all landed on by a majority is Target, also known by Target in some circles. So here's the deal, kids. I'm going to head on over there in a little bit, and I'm going to just see if we got this correct or not. But here, before I go... I do want to say one thing. Sitting in the room with you today is someone who's really important to you. And honestly, one of the most important people to me as well. She's actually done the camera work for me today. She's a little shy, so I'll just show you the photo. My old mom. It's because of this lady right here that Will gets him is the man he is today. Her confidence in me, her always rallying for me, and her saying, boy, this is your last chance. You better get it right. Those things motivate me to be my best. And I'm going to actually put it right up here with one of my favorite photos, me at the... Uh, Toward the France. Oh, it doesn't fit. Wait a minute. Where's my uh, where's my photo of the Toward the France? Oh, those. That dastardly those stole one of my photos. You know what? Here's the deal. They made it even more personal than it was already personal, and that's really personal. Here's the deal, kids. I need your help. I'm gonna go to Target right now and I'm gonna find these guys. 
and I'm going to get my photo back, and I'm going to get some sporting equipment back, and we're going to make this thing happen. Mom, thanks for believing in me. I'm out of here. We're going to do this. Outro music, please. from the beautiful Studio 23 here at Studio Star Channel 20. We want to thank our sponsors, the Roller Rink and the Hula Hoop Factory for making this possible. Well, that was an awesome first We'll Get Some Variety show. I can't wait to hear about that tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So don't forget to join us again tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. to hear what he finds at Target to see if you guys are right. Remember, today we talked about focus on what you can see. God is everywhere, his creation, everything he made, we can see with our eyes. And when we focus on what we see he's created, we can believe in God. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.